How's it going everybody? Decisive TV here. We're back for another video and we're on the Quest Collectors SP today. Uh, I'm going to start out this video by uh, looking at my quest wherever I got it. Uh, quest, that's a week two quest. Do I have my week three quest anywhere? It might. Is this the one? No, that's the week two. We already got that one done. Uh, let's go over to the quest house. I probably left it in there. Uh, okay, so quest three, it said spawn proof and build a barrier around the village so it's safe at night. So basically, uh, I want to start out the quest and uh, we'll go we'll go over so you guys can see. So uh, I, I'm, <laughs> I might have made it out of netherrack. Oh, oh, it's not it's not safe. It's not safe if there's where is it? Where is it? Okay. You know what? I'm going to just put up three right there. Break this. Get rid of it. But all the way around this village, uh, yeah, there are no villagers. Oh, well, I guess I did exclude these three houses uh, because these are, like, way out here. They're not even, like, really in the village. So I wanted to uh, include... Like the main house is right here. I mean, I guess I can include this one, so I might extend it out and wrap it around. But uh, I kind of went where the the bamboo was because that's where I kind of laid it out. Uh, so I didn't lay out the bamboo for making a border around the village. I did that before I got the quest, so it was kind of funny to uh, to get the quest and have it be I need to build a border around it and spawn proof. So all I did was place a whole bunch of torches around, made sure that it was all good at night. Um, and then I built this border around the village. So I, I really wanted to walk through with you guys and make like an actual wall around uh, this part of the village uh, because I thought that would look super duper cool, uh, to be honest, because this is kind of like our main base. Uh, we do have our... Uh, upcoming second base that's like around everybody close by the lake so uh, I set up uh, a waste zone over here and I built a little bit I, I did this bit off camera uh, just because I was talking with J2 and we were having good conversation about stuff but uh, yeah so he told me that he was going to give me a feather falling book and he did that and uh there's a little little chest that says gift i really like that <laughs> little, little cute little chest with the feather falling four books so now hopefully uh i can get this put on my armor and i won't die from fall damage uh too much more hopefully uh, like uh, one or two of my deaths and like a few really close calls whenever i was in the end last video uh have been from fall damage so yeah um very nice to get this book thank you j2 and yeah so this is the progress i made on the house so far i really i'm, I'm kind of thinking i really want big windows in this house uh i'm probably not going to make it two story uh so it's just going to be this one story but it's going to be really cool maybe i'll have like a basement or something like that and maybe an attic but uh yeah so looking pretty cool so far yeah i think i think the the cherry wood goes really well with the mangrove i think they complement each other pretty well but it is very flat but uh we'll get around to it whenever we do the small details and that sort of stuff but uh yeah so uh, i just wanted to start off the video by saying yes i did get the quest done so i got it done just in time uh it, currently it is thursday the 29th and tomorrow is Friday, and the quests are due tomorrow, and they are due by the time I get off of work. <laughs> so I wasn't going to have any time to do it tomorrow, but maybe we'll go back through the village because Netherrack is kind of an eyesore to look at. So, yeah. Uh, oh, Wild Pally over there. What the heck? What is he doing? What in the world? What, what a silly guy. Oh. He's coming back. Pally's coming back. He's flying around. You actually saw my name tag. Yeah. I, 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 was doing, I was doing a little bit of free cam because I was talking to my viewers about the border that I had to do around my village. So I got oh, a quest. Oh, yeah. That's new. So, yeah, it's, uh, I put it up in like five minutes because I needed to get the quest done. But I'm going to go back through and probably make an actual wall, <laughs> maybe. 
Oh, I totally hear that because I started my quest yesterday and it's due tomorrow. So yeah. I yeah. Feel I totally yep. feel you. Yep. And it's due uh while I'm gonna going to be at work. So yeah. Yeah. There's uh there's no villagers in here, but it you know, it's it's still a village. It has me at least. <laughs> right. There's one left right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. The technicalities are, are really kicking in for this quest. <laughs> but what are you up to, Pally? Ah, uh, nothing. Just trying to uh, finish. So my quest was build a stable. Ooh. I got that done, but it was more like a ta-da, it's done. Hi, viewers. So now I'm, I've got a sheep farm right next to it. So I think I'm going to like make a barn and then heck call yeah. it. Oh, so, yeah, heck yeah. Yeah, other than that, that just, yeah. Other than that, just kind of like looking around, figuring out what's new and, well... This is new. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh yep. Uh there there's I think a you have a bamboo problem, maybe? Yeah, so before I got the quest, I like laid out this bamboo border kind of thing, and then I got the quest. I thought it was really funny that I got the quest of building a barrier around the village. Cause I, I already laid out the bamboo, <laughs> so yeah, it was like, like it, hey. it was perfect. <laughs> I was like, That's Oh, great. okay somebody's watching great. Um, so have you seen this at your base the the dark lord is coming whoever the dark lord is yeah so i saw that yesterday and like i was really reluctant to uh do these blocks because somebody trapped my base yeah there's nothing <clears throat> underneath there it's more of a message um <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> the dark lord is coming yup uh so mm. from the blocks and uh the like eye of sauron banner <laughs> it looks like it might be that tower that's all the way over there what do you think yeah you think so i mean well have you gone over to the tower yes i have i explored and, around the tower with j2 and we found a secret and, base and this banner totally is not over there is it no mm, well i haven't been there recently the front. i don't it, oh, it's totally oh. on the front uh oh <laughs> <laughs> lore spoil so I'm gonna I break think, this. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of it. The Ire Sirens uh, is coming. Uh oh, I'm gonna yep. I'm gonna get rid of these blocks too. I'm gonna burn them. So hopefully it doesn't. I don't have my flint and steel on me. I totally don't have it either. Uh. Got everything else in the game. Not boom. Flint and steel. <laughs> Done. It's gone forever. Boom. Yep. Perfect. Let's see. Uh, decisive. Quest four. Yes. Okay. Your quest this round is to build a deadly mini game. By now, you should have a team to work with. You and your team are to construct a mini game. The game must be able to be completed without the loss, uh, without the loss of life. But failure should cost the life. You have two weeks to build to complete the build. After that, the quest master will nominate each team to play two of the mini games each. Success will be judged by the number of lives your mini game task. Uh, wait, success will be judged by the number of lives your mini game takes when being played. First will be awarded six lives. Second will be awarded four lives. Third, two lives. Fourth and fifth, nothing. Six will lose three lives. Oh my god. The max lives any player can have is 15. Each team can decide how to share the reward between them. That's crazy. So first will be awarded six lives. So that's six lives for overall. And we have teams of three. Um, we were discussing this in the Discord server. And this is super interesting to read it now. So six lives for three people. That could be two lives each. Um, or it could be split up. Somebody gets like f five lives. The well, Somebody gets one. Somebody gets none or something like that. But you definitely don't want to be six. The fourth and fifth would be all right. But first, second, and third? Oh, yeah. Those are really good. Uh, failure to make a game will cost a life each. Failure to complete it, to compete in the mini games will also cost a life each. All right. That makes sense. So I think we're going to have a really big uh, like get together of the entire server playing throughout the mini games so that's going to be super interesting my team i'm teamed up with j2d2 and andrew or albino quackers 
and or bathtub time as their channel is called and so i'm going to be playing with them we got an idea for our mini game uh which i'm sure i will discuss later in the episode with them uh we're gonna we're gonna have to build it but yeah so i have a ton of stuff in my inventory and i should probably go deposit that on my no 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 <laughs> What is this? What, the heck? what is this? Oh my gosh, dude! Oh. <laughs> I think Drew struck back, or somebody did for him. What? What is? This? Oh my goodness! This is so many crafting tables. Wow. Okay, free cam. Uh, holy smokes! Okay, uh, well, that is, that is a bit, oh my, <laughs> who the heck, who, oh, well, I, you know what, I suspect it was Drew, uh, I, but if I'm wrong, then I, I'm sorry, Drew, but, uh, no, I, I think this might have been, and he might have taken a little bit of time off to, uh, haha, <laughs> time off, uh, to, do this there are so many crafting tables so if you guys don't know last episode i uh i trapped his base and it if you guys go watch his episode it was very entertaining at the end uh he um let's just say he died to the trap so I, I basically i set up if you guys didn't see last episode i set up a crafting table below it was an observer and the below it was cnt minecarts and yeah he he mined the crafting table like that and blew up so now i gotta be really careful about where i mine these crafting tables he wouldn't put it near my base would he now I, I i made sure not to blow up his base and did some testing in a creative world just to make sure so any of these could have an observer below them and i just won't know until it goes off uh it's a very devious trap because we only have he replaced. He replaced the log. He replaced the log with the crafting. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna be mining these up. Hopefully, there are none of these are actually trapped. But that is, uh, that makes me uh, quite a bit nervous. And this is so much wood that he put into this as well. Oh my goodness. All right, well, I have a full inventory and two stacks of it are from crafting tables. Got to make sure my base isn't... <sighs> okay, okay, I see, I see how it, how it is. Oh my god, <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, this is so awesome. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that's so funny. Holy smokes. Well, if I need any crafting tables, I always keep a, at least one crafting table on me in my inventory at all times. So, I guess now I have those crafting tables. <laughs> Alright, I believe that is all of the crafting tables. Uh, let's do a quick check. I still need to get rid of this mangrove thing because for some reason there's like one log in there that I missed. I don't know how. Uh, that looks like all of the crafting tables. I don't believe there's any over me. Besides that one, I'm, I'm just going to keep because I don't feel like replacing it with a log. So there we go. Okay, well, uh, perfect. Also, we kind of have a squid farm right here and like an accidental one. It's kind of interesting. But yeah, so... That's a lot of crafting tables. Oh my god. Uh, let's see actually how much this is. How much? How many crafting tables? Oh my what? That's eight and a half stacks of crafting table. Holy smokes. Drew. 
I, you know what? I'm just going to keep on referring to it as Drew did it because I'm sure Drew did do it. So eight and a half stacks, eight and a half stacks. How many, how many, like that's almost like what a full inventory of wood planks dedicated to this prank. What the heck, man? <laughs> That's insane. Oh, my goodness. Well, well, guys, uh, Drew got me back. I I'd say that was a, a pretty harmless prank, if I do say so myself. I I'm sure I'm sure there's going to be. Uh, well, actually, does he have any in the houses as well? Surely. OK, no, he didn't. Well, you know what? This chest is going to be dedicated towards the crafting table extravaganza. Also, I need to take one because I always have one on me. You never know whenever you might need a crafting table. But yeah, uh, well, that's that's very interesting. If I do say so myself. Oh, my God, squid. No, but good prank, Drew. I, re I, I appreciate all the crafting tables now. Um, none of them were trapped, surprisingly. I really thought. At least one of them was going to be trapped, especially in this area, because there were so many crafting tables. And I was just mining them away, but I don't think it would have mattered because I have a totem of undying. So it probably would have just gone off and then killed me. And then I would have lived because of the totem. So, yeah, no trap going to get me for right now. For for now, somebody's going to come up with a very clever trap that gets set off twice. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens. In the coming future guys i came to my new base and uh it looks like drew knows uh where my new base is located <laughs> this is insane what the f oh my god there's so many <laughs> dude it's a lot easier to place this than it is to take them away what the heck i didn't <laughs> i really was not expecting i like cut from the last bit the eight and a half stacks of crafting tables that was there. And I came over to my new base to see what was up. Ah, uh, Drew. Why? Oh my gosh. We got to think of something, something to do. I think, I think another prank would be funny. And this is kind of a prank war. Hey, it looks like he broke my bed too. Wow. That's messed up, Drew. Alrighty, guys, so I think that was all the crafting tables, finally. <laughs> Hopefully there's no more that I know about. Uh, so it seems like we got four and a quarter stack from that. So what will that put us at? It's just at 12, almost 13 stacks. Well, my guesstimate was right. <laughs> well, uh, that thanks again, Drew, for some more crafting tables. And, uh, well... I'm probably going to get to work on the mini game. I got to start thinking up of uh, some more prank ideas. So we'll we'll see what happens first. But I got to I got to start brewing pranks in my mind to get back at Drew for this one. This was a lot <laughs> like that was. Well, I mean, that, that was only like 20 minutes, probably 25 minutes worth of mining crafting tables, which isn't the most fun. But to be honest, they were all spread out. They were all nicely organized in a chaotic way. And so it was just pretty easy to go through and chop them all but uh yeah so actually uh with palithoa uh he gave me a mending book that i put on my fortune three picks so uh yeah i thought i'd mention that uh that's why it's fully repaired now and uh none of my other stuff has mending on it so we got to find a mending villager or talk to somebody who has one and try and finagle a good deal but i gotta go mining too because i need more diamonds in order to do that so yeah there's a lot there, there, there's quite a bit i gotta do on the server i gotta get rich i gotta prank drew once again uh maybe maybe not trap him this time but just a nice harmless prank like this one because i thought it'd just be a funny bit uh here, here. i got I, I actually got a fun idea no never mind let's let's Whatever. Wow. Fun, fun, whatever. Fun, fun idea, like putting 18 stacks of crafting tables around my bases. So I know about that. <clears throat> Do you want the truth? Yeah. It was not me. That's actually crazy. I, you know, I, I, fa I, fa I found out who it was because I, I, I found out through them because they told me that they did it. I was like, that's what Decisive was talking about. Was it, uh, was it Pally? I feel like that's something he would do. It. 
I can't say who it was. Now that makes me just feel like it was him. It may. It may. All right. Well, I'm going to falsely more... accuse no, no, Pally no, no, now. You, you didn't <laughs> let me finish my sentence, though. It may be more than one person. And it may or may not have been Pally. And somebody else. But I can't say. I can't confirm. Hmm, now you got me so suspicious <laughs> about everybody on the server putting crafting tables around uh, my base. Very mm. sus, very, very sus. I, oh, man. You know, to be honest, I wouldn't put it, I wouldn't put it past Caden to go with Pally and do that because it was like a harmless prank mm -hmm. and he's a pacifist. Yeah, he is. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. And I know he, he's been wanting to do stuff with everybody on the server, so... I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised. How's your uh, mini game coming? Haven't started it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's due in like two days. Uh, yeah, well, you know, I've been busy with work and everything like that, and I, I worked like fifty four hours last week. It, it was a lot, but oh, oh. yeah, it worked six I days. I had it rough at work. This oh, does feel very average to me. Uh huh. It doesn't feel like it's been so. Horse, I don't though. remember my horse being this dark either. By the way, I saw this crafting table up See? here. I don't know if you've seen it, but uh, <laughs> I broke it yeah. because I was yeah. like, huh, I want to know if this is a trap or not, and it wasn't. So It was very sus. I'm like, you know what? I, I got the lives. If, if it, it, Whatever happens, happens. I, I, I accept this. I accept my fate breaking this crafting table. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it was just kind of here. It was just kind of here. It had like dirt around it. You want to tell me what this it, is? It Nope, I do not want to tell you what that is. You get in there! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I broke your wheat. Oh, that's fine. And you cr trample my crops. You know, it's, it's a hard harvest season this year. Hey, I got a hoe. Trust me. <laughs> Boom, carrot. This is how it works. My, my, I might need slabs. I'm just going to be so going through your chest. Don't worry about I it. I have slabs on me, too, if you need slabs. Oh, yes, actually, please. Yeah, take those. Okay. So, learn this from Hermitcraft. If you get okay. this, and then you go like boom, 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 the horse cannot get out of that, but you can ride what? the horse out of it. What? No And way. you don't take damage. You don't take damage. Look at that. I'm yeah. in the block oh, I, right I, now. I guess. Boom, <laughs> you are in boom. the block. What? Boom. No way. But yeah, they don't, well, like, they don't walk tried... out of it. Like, they no, obviously sure you have the ability to, but they, they, ju they just don't like see it as a possibility yeah. eh? yeah see it's walking away from it like it doesn't want to go up there wow yeah so you can make like really cool That's garage really doors cool. and stuff and so you don't have to flip open these weird gates anymore no and stuff i mean yeah i mean it, yeah that's true yeah yeah I guess it kind of I mean, fit. I mean, I pressure plays, but whatever. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe <laughs> spruce would work a bit better than oak planks, but that's all that we had, right? So. <laughs> wow. But I did not yeah, know that. that's nope. so smart. Learned that from from uh, Hermitcraft videos, which is really weird. Wow, that's but. really cool. I'm glad you you showed me that. Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, make a garage. <laughs> make a garage. Horse, horse garage. garage. All right, what do we do? Yeah, I got I got a three horse garage. Three um, <laughs> with my wood <laughs> my wood uh, horses. Uh, so this is just my oh right here. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, that's your that's your baby chicken, Drew. <laughs> I just hatched it. Oh! Oh my god! That's insane! <laughs> what are Two in a row! Two in a row! Oh my what? gosh, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Skeleton. Um, yep, yep. So there's only there's only one skeleton in it now. And all the dirt will be removed because I had to put up safety walls because I got to test this thing too. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to try to do uh, tonight. Whoa. And I wanted to record it on camera. Whoa. But yeah. So all the dirt will be moved. And it's going to be a bit of an obstacle course with skeletons shooting at you. Oh, my so goodness. It, those if platforms you oh. were the... Yeah, sorry, go ahead. You got to remove that water, too. I do, I do. I got to go down there and remove the water. Um, but th that area, like where the chains are, the fences, that's where the skeletons are going to be. Uh-huh. So, so you kind of have to, like, hide yeah. around here and quickly, like, sprint yeah. over here? Yeah, so you got to oh, hide this behind is the be doors, hard. too. You got to, like, jump and, like, do that. So you don't get hit. Yeah, That's yeah. crazy. 
Um, so this area, this actually killed me before. So I just kept the doors and I just blocked it off it, so the skeletons can't shoot at you. It killed but you. Wait, does that mean you're on like door... eleven lives? Uh, yeah, I think I'm on eleven right now. <laughs> oh no! So the doors are pretty like buggy. So anyway, that's kind of the obstacle there for that. Huh. Um. So every time you see the uh, half slabs down like this, they're gonna be removed. So this is gonna be this is gonna be a two gap jump. Ooh. And then this oh is gonna goodness. be a jump here. So you gotta yeah. like run and, then, and jump and like yeah. scurry around. Holy. And then over here is gonna be kind of like a pick a path. So there's gonna be a skeleton in the middle, and you just gotta kind of. Because again, where all, all these half slabs are here, they're all going to be removed. So there's going to be holes all over this floor. Right. Whoa. This is cool. Yeah, yeah. This is really and then, interesting. Uh, there's a couple areas you can go. So if you go right here, like that way, that's the way to the finish. Uh, but if you go over there, I'm thinking about putting some loot or something like that. If you go out of your way, uh, maybe a shield or something like that. I'm still deciding. Uh. Yeah, like a, a mostly broken shield, maybe with like two durability or something. Yeah, but even then, like shields aren't even, they don't even work all the time, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, especially so with like everybody's ping on the server, maybe not. I know, I know. So I'm trying to consider lag. Oh, and there's one skeleton over there, so you got to be quick. Oh. <laughs> Do they have punch two then... bows or like? I don't know. That guy just had an enchanted bow, so I just took him. <laughs> so again, you're going to be able to hide behind the door, and then you got to run, wow, and no. then you're going to have to jump. You're going to jump. You're going to have to jump out. Oh, oh my gosh, decisive. Wait, I have thorns on my armor. Oh, take on my chest plate. Ah. <laughs> yeah, don't kill my skeleton. Try so that to... reminds me. This guy is going to be... Ow. Ow. Derp one. Wow. That actually hurts. I'm at three and a half hearts right now. Yeah, he might have something on his bow. I'm not too sure. Probably power. Yeah. Hey, leave me alone. <laughs> Run. Oh my goodness. Ooh. So, yeah. So yeah, that's the. Uh... So this is just my section. Apparently, Caden's gonna be building his section. The idea was for all three of us to do our own sections and connect them through like warp pads or whatever they're called. Uh, but I don't know if White Bear's gonna get to his, so we might just end up having the two sections. I haven't even seen Caden's yet. Uh huh. So so you, yeah. like once you get to the end of like level one, uh, I I'd assume that this is like level one or something. Then you go to Caden's section, and then you have to do that. Yeah. And then you yeah, win. the idea was for each section to get harder. So I I I gotta find a way to play test it. That's why I put up the safety walls here. Uh huh. Um. That's, I was thinking oh about goodness. trying to put like a kajillion water buckets down there, but the cave's too big. I don't want to. I don't want to waste my time with that. <laughs> oh yeah, so, no, absolutely not. I think this works. So I thought, yeah, I thought safety walls would be the best. So my theory is, if I can just get through the course without getting shot, then that proves that it's that it's possible. Uh huh. I mean, anything is possible with Drew. Oh my gosh, it's Brad. I see him. He's oh, snooping. Where, where's he at? He's over uh over uh in that direction. I saw you, Brad. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <I know. laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's decked out. Yeah, I thought you were wearing like a turtle helmet or something like that. Yeah, I thought he was wearing like turtle armor. I was like, how did you get that? Yeah. I got turtle armor here. All, all <laughs> decked out turtle armor. Netherite turtle armor. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, so is this how you put the skeletons into the game? Is that yeah, so I, I, got them, uh, I got them up uh, at the top. They're in boats. So when you came to my house, I was uh, creating the name tags. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, <laughs> Don't worry. I knew there was water down there. <laughs> I had to scare him. I can scare him because of the warp stone. <laughs> oh! Ah! That did half my health. What? Wow. That did half my health. Oh, Did it's because I don't have my oh, chest plate. Oh, it was a bow. I just a bow. Yeah, so it's going to be Brad shooting at you now. It's not going to be skeletons anymore. <laughs> uh oh. The improvement yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I've been using them to um like test my game. Like going, all right, this is. <laughs> I got another egg, Drew. You know what that means. All right. Oh, oh no way! No. Three in a row? <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> does that happen <laughs> oh my goodness that's amazing oh man he is the eggonator dude do you know what that, yeah. do you know what that is uh, on the way i used to do my outros like i had like that like the outro and then there was like the one final bit <laughs> you know what i mean uh-huh. <laughs> that, that that would be that would be the final bit right that there would be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness oh that was awesome well that was pretty fun huh wasn't it well i think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. It, uh, this video has taken a little bit to get out. Uh, at, like I was telling Drew, I worked a lot last week. Um, I worked six days, so I didn't have a whole lot of time to record and edit and make videos and that sort of stuff. So I'm really sorry that this is coming out pretty late, uh, especially since probably not a, a ton happened in this episode, but I really hope you guys enjoyed anyway. Uh, we'll, next episode will be the mini game episode. So we'll get on with a bunch of people, hopefully, uh, plan out something like that. And we'll play through all the mini games that people have made for their quest. Uh, so that will happen in the next couple of days, I think. But yeah, so for now, that's going to be it. Thank you all so much for watching another episode of Collector's SMP. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day. Bye bye.